Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to work through a couple example problems that are similar to the chapter 6 homework problems related to calculating taxes owed. So in this week's module you should have already watched the video related to income tax brackets and how they work. So we learned that in our tax tables the rates are actually marginal rates. So let's work through just a simple example. Let's say I'm a single taxpayer that made $50,000. So if I go to the single taxpayer column and go down to the tax rate that includes $50,000, so we're looking for the range that has your taxable income, we'll see that that is a 22% tax rate. Well, that is a marginal rate, and we need to calculate our taxes owed for each of our tax brackets. So the 10%, 12%, and 22%. So what you're gonna see in this video is we're gonna do some step-by-step -step calculations for each of these tax filing statuses. So if you're ready, let's get started. So in this first problem, we're dealing with a situation a head of household with taxable income of $61,000. So the first step is when you're reviewing the tax table, you really do wanna get rid or not pay attention to the columns that are not related to the tax filing status that is given in the problem. So we see that this is a head of household situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of single taxpayers and married taxpayers filing jointly. So now that we have just the head of household column in the tax table, the next step here is we wanna identify our marginal tax rate. So we see the taxable income was $61,000. The reason why this is important is because this will help you with your calculations for each of the tax buckets. So we could see that 61,000 is in the range of 55,901 and $89,050. So let's go ahead and highlight that tax uh, bracket. And so the first step when you're working through these problems is you want to do it in pieces. So we want to first calculate the taxes owed for the first tax bracket of 10%. So we'll go ahead and take our $14,650 and we're gonna subtract zero because this is the first tax bracket and the bottom is zero. And we're gonna get that number and we're gonna multiply it by 10% and we get $1,465. Next, we wanna do the calculation for the 12%. So we're gonna take the upper amount of $55,900 and we're gonna subtract the $14,651, and then we're gonna multiply by the 12%, and we get $4,949.88. So here, I wanna point out something very important when you're working through these problems. You do not wanna round intermediate calculations. So you wanna just keep those at its floating decimal places in your calculator. You only wanna round your final answer to two decimal places. So then the last step here is we wanna calculate our taxes owed for that 22% tax bracket. So we're gonna go ahead and take our um, formula here, but you notice that I left something blank here. So for that final tax bracket, the upper end is not gonna be the $89,050 that you see in the tax bracket. It's gonna be the $61,000 of taxable income. So I'll bring the $61,000 and then we subtract the $55,901 and then we multiply by the 22% and we get $1,121.78. So the last step is we just simply need to add these three numbers up and we get $7,536.66. So this is the taxes owed for this head of household with taxable income of $61,000. Let's go ahead and work through the next one. So this one is a situation where a single person with taxable income of $37,500. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're only gonna pay attention to the part of the tax table that's relevant to this tax filing status of single taxpayers. So let's get rid of those other two. And the steps are very similar for all of these problems. But we first wanna identify our marginal tax rate. So $37,500 is in this 12% tax bracket. So let's go ahead and highlight that row here. And so we know that this is where we're gonna be calculating up to. So similar to before, we'll go ahead and take the $10,275, subtract zero, and then multiply by 10%, and we get $1,027.50. We'll go ahead and move to the next one. Same as before, 
we need to fill in or use our taxable income as the upper amount. So that's $37,500. We're going to subtract the $10,276. And then we're going to multiply by 12%. And we get $3,266.88. So the last step here is just to add these two numbers up. And we get $4,294.38. All right, let's tackle the last problem. So the last problem is dealing with the married taxpayers filing jointly with taxable income of $83,000. So we're gonna focus on the married taxpayers filing jointly column and get rid of single taxpayers and head of household. We wanna identify our marginal tax rate from the taxable income given in the story. So that's 83,000. So just watch out if the problem is really close to the end, you wanna make sure that you're using the correct marginal tax rate. So 83,000 is actually just under the $83,550. So we'll go ahead and highlight that marginal tax rate of 12%. And we're gonna do the steps again. We'll take $20,550, subtract zero times 10%, and you get $2,055. And then we're going to go ahead and do the second uh, tax bracket of 12%, bring down the $83,000 from the taxable income, subtract the $20,551, and then multiply by 12%, and we get $7,493.88. And then the last step is just to add these two numbers up. And so we get $9,548.88. Well, everyone, that wraps up this video. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.